ladies and gentlemen, we have Little Yachty has a delusion problem. Let's find out what it is. I have a feeling it's relevant to his recent interview that I recently heard in like clips. But we're probably gonna do a little bit more context with that, so let's see. Having been the face of everything wrong in hip hop, Lil Yachty's rise was symbolic of a decline in hip hop quality. However, after almost a decade in the game, Lil Yachty remains one of the most relevant names in all of hip hop, ultimately becoming a reminder that anyone, regardless of where they started, can redeem themselves and become more than what people thought they'd be. But now that people care more about what Yachty has to say, it's pretty obvious that Lil Yachty is delusional. And honestly, <laughs> it's been clear since the very beginning. The 2016 freshman class is the symbol of a change in the culture. The moment where the old school met the quote unquote new wave as Double XL called it, and it was a divisive moment in the culture. Retrospectively, we look at it with much fondness today, of course. But back in 2016, it was the most divisive class in Double XL history. While yeah, some people did class, see bro. it as a new chapter in hip hop, there were some who saw it as a representation of the death of hip hop. And for those who thought that way, the worst offender was clearly Lil Yachty. Hey, bro, I, I remember them times, bro. I remember back, back in 2016, bro. People were like, man, hip hop's cooked, bro. Man, but this was the best cypher. It truly was. Like, the them, them niggas were Uzi, 21 Savage, Yachty, Kodak, Denzel Curry. Best cypher still around, bro. And it wasn't because of the bars, bro. It's just because the, just the flow of the rappers, bro. It was just, it was just perfect, bro. It just, like, whatever they, like, they were, like, they brought that era, bro. It just mixed in so well together. It worked. It just worked. One night. It was really easy to clown Lil Yachty back in the day. There was something about the Lil Yachty image that just made it easy for people to do that. Especially because the pinnacle of his career, at least at that time, was One Night. A song that doesn't get any better with the passing of time. I know you want this for life. To make it worse, whenever Lil Yachty was getting interviewed, the worst possible answer would come out of his mouth. Right, and the reason they so mad is because they think that the young kids don't take this hip-hop thing serious. I honestly don't. <laughs> he honestly doesn't. <laughs> and he does. From calling Biggie overrated to a trash freestyle to saying he's not a rapper. If I didn't know any better, I would say that Lil Yachty was trying to sabotage his career. And initially looking at this, you might assume that Yachty was too young to handle media properly or that they were manipulating him into giving bad answers. But as his career went on, you kind of realize that this is who Yachty is. But I'll get to that later. For now, it's important mm. to note that whether or not Lil Yachty liked hip hop or respected hip hop, it was clear that hip hop did not like or respect them. I mean, whenever a rapper would diss the new generation of hip hop, it always they sounded like now. they were dissing Lil Yachty or they were just straight up dissing the guy. When J. Cole dissed the movement, people thought it was directed at Yachty. Especially the immature eight week rappers, Lil whatever. In fact, when J. Cole did the same thing Damn, like two know years after, people also thought it was directed at Lil Yachty. Well, Yachty or Lil Pump, that is. And with bars like, she blow my dick like a cello, it was almost impossible to take Yachty seriously as a rapper. You are the poster child exactly. for whack rappers. If they want to say somebody oh. whack, they say you. But it kind of didn't matter at the same time. Lil Yachty did have fans and peers that respected him. And sometimes that's just enough to succeed. At the very least, it was enough to find yourself in ad campaigns with companies like Sprite and Target. The same image that people hated, some people love. And that's what made Yachty so controversial. He was the divide between the old fans and the new fans. And he could have been happy with being just that, but he wanted more. And if anything, he did want his respect from hip hop. He's publicly stated on interviews that he was disappointed when his first album didn't do as well as he thought, critically and commercially. And for whatever reason, hip hop just never gave him that respect. His only- Hey man, he- he was daring to be different, bro. That's all he was trying to do. He probably came in was like, you know, trying to be all like chill dude, like, oh, I don't care about this shit. Oh, fuck hip hop, blah, 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 blah. You know, it was all just, uh, you know, a charade. It's a, a character, you know. He's trying to play a part, he's trying to be different, trying to stand out. It didn't work, bro. All right, like, I mean, it is a time to did. It got him attention, just not the attention he wanted, I guess, to, like, if that made sense.
Only big hit songs were alongside Kyle and Drum, and songs where Jotty wasn't arguably the main attraction, especially on I Spy, where Jotty puts up one of the worst verses I've ever heard. All my bitches come in pairs like balls in my nutsack. All my bitches come in pairs like balls in my nutsack has to be. Oh, yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't even that. know how to describe it. And then around like 2019, that. late 2018, Jotty just kind of disappeared. He was definitely still around. He was still making music, but his music was on the underground he had given up on the respect of hip-hop fans and when he wasn't working with the underground scene of detroit or some random city he was ghostwriting for the city girls and this could have been the start for a redemption i mean he got on a song with the baby and drake and it was actually pretty good way better than it performed but it still didn't perform well enough for a song with drake and the baby in 2020 but it was COVID time, so I guess, like, I understand. But with the release of 2023's Let's Start Here, Yachty finally got the commercial and critical success he had been looking for his whole career. Notably, though, it didn't come from hip-hop. It was this quote-unquote experimental rock album. Well, this is an album. It's called oh, Let's Start Here with the song We Saw the Sun, Lil Yachty. But regardless, Yachty finally had that respect that he wanted. He had redeemed himself. But with that redemption and more Damn, people actually caring for what Lil Yachty had to say, people realized that Yachty low-key hates hip-hop, or at the very least, thinks he's above the culture of hip-hop. But let me explain. It all began with a simple quote. I want I to be taken that. seriously as an artist, Lil Yachty said. It's so special and dear to me. Um, I think I created it just because I, I really wanted to be um taken serious as an artist you know not just some soundcloud rapper not some mumble rapper not some not some guy that just made one hit you know i wanted to be really taken serious because music is like everything to me you know i respect all all walks of music to many of you that might seem like a simple request a reasonable quote but in the mind of Lil Yachty, for him to be taken seriously as an artist, he had to step outside of hip-hop. Because as we all know, you can't be a rapper and an artist. Hip-hop just isn't capable of producing art, I guess. So instead of sharpening your skills as a rapper, why not just do a rock album? But in reality, if Yachty had taken hip-hop more seriously, then maybe people would take him seriously as an artist in hip-hop. Like, I'm not even the biggest fan of Let's Start Here. I listened to it like less than a handful of times, but it never struck me as an album where I had to ignore the lyrics the way I had to in Lil Yachty projects that he was rapping. But it's that idea of hip hop not being art that explains why Yachty has a lot of questionable takes when it comes to hip hop. In editing, I realized that it looks like I misrepresented Lil Yachty's claim because, of course, the statement is not wrong. I do understand what Yachty means when he says that he wants to be looked at as somebody that isn't just a trash rapper. But my point was that you can do that within hip hop. You don't have to go to rock. And of course, maybe he just wanted to move to a different genre. But from my point of view, at least, it seems to me as though Lil Yachty is saying that as a rapper, he could as never be taken star. seriously as an artist, which is not true. He's just not that good at rapping. And instead of improving as a rapper, he moved to a different genre. Does that make sense? And I know he does respect hip hop, but it does feel like he feels as though hip hop isn't art. Or that hip hop artists can never be looked at as artists. Which makes it even more odd when he says things like, I didn't like the production style on the Black album. I'm not a big fan of like the live production, that type, that like sound. And let me say, there's nothing wrong with not listening to old hip hop. I remember Vince Staples made a comment about how he didn't listen to older hip hop until way later in life. But the difference is that when Vince Staples would talk about old hip hop, he still have some respect for it. Like he would still hype up the rappers he grew up with, even if the rapper was Lil Bow Wow. But when it comes <laughs> to Yachty and his takes on hip hop, it always feels weird. I came into the music era in a time where rap was one way. It was real gangster, it was real hardcore, it was real street. And a bunch of us kids came in with colorful hair and dressing different. Personally, I was on some whole other shit. Like, 
that's just wrong. Gotti blew up with the SoundCloud wave when Drake was the biggest rapper and he was very open about being a soft rapper. Like, I don't know, this might be Yachty's yeah. way to cope as to why hip hop fans didn't take him seriously. But again, he made bad music. I don't know what to say. And speaking about hip hop and bad music. Man, no, hold on. Let's, let's talk about it. it. Let's talk about it. The let's place, talk about the it. The place that hip hop is in right now is a terrible place. No, no, I mean, hip hop is hip hop, but you asked me where is hip hop right now. There, the state of hip hop right now is a lot of imitation it's a lot of a lot of quick low quality music being put out now to say that hip-hop is in a terrible place is in a hot take especially not in november of 2023 but to hear that hip-hop is filled with imitation and low quality music from lil yachty is kind of ironic like i don't know about y'all but i do remember when lil yachty made songs with lil pump i do remember when lil yachty made songs with bad baby who if anything are the prime examples of low quality music in just this month he made a song with ian who is like the definition of imitation what makes ian stand out is that he's a white rapper but outside of that his music is generic it's <laughs> a real standout yeah, I can, quality I've right there i've listened to bro. these songs before so i guess what i'm asking is who are the rappers that are bringing down hip-hop with low quality music because if it's not the rappers that yachty constantly associates with that I'm drawing a blank. But imitation can't be like the main thing for Yachty because he praises Drake. I'm not saying Drake isn't good, but like in terms of originality, we know what Drake is. Let me be clear in saying that I don't hate Yachty. I don't know Yachty, but I do hate his mindset as it relates to hip hop. It's the idea that a good artist is better than a good rapper because art means more than hip hop. And the more people think about hip hop that way inside the culture, the more the people from outside will think of it as well. Ultimately leading to a Post Malone, for example, building your fame up as a quote unquote rapper and a associating yourself with hip-hop aesthetics and hip-hop culture until you make it famous and then abandoning hip-hop unless of course it's to work with a big name like travis scott where you're still using hip-hop to build your fame the more people that think like lil yachty the more hip-hop becomes worse it's how you end up with the catch me outside girl rapping she wasn't rapping because she liked the poetry of hip-hop that's why she still doesn't rap I ain't no cap, bro. He just put all that shit together, bro. That shit made so much sense now. I, I kind of understand. I, I I mean, not even kind of. I, I, I get it now. Do, do y'all get it? Like, wow. That shit's crazy. Like, I didn't even realize how many people have been, like, ducking the rap scene after they jump into it, bro. They, they literally come, come into it, you know, rap for a little bit, and then they're like, yo, let me join this genre, bro. Even MGK did this shit, bro. That shit's wild. I didn't even, like, I didn't even, like, Pete, bro, that's crazy. Wow, I didn't even pick up on how many like rappers were Rap. doing that. She just saw it as a quick way to make money. And Mr. Lil Yachty even know was Yachty right there it, to validate it. I guess all that I'm saying is I want more respect in hip hop. That shit's wild though. My bass stopped it when he was already finished anyway. But that shit's crazy, bro. Let me know what y'all think about that, bro. That's, that's wild. I had no idea. I didn't even think about all the rappers that have been like coming into the game and then leaving. Like, I didn't even realize. Cause Lil Wayne kind of did that too, but he incorporated it into the rap game. Like, he didn't leave it. You know what I mean? Like, he just incorporated it. And uh, it, was, it was different. That's all I'd say. It was different.